This was my first time in the World Heli Challenge. I was stoked to be a part of it. Been a passive observer for the past three years and really wanted to uh, test myself with some of the top free riders from around here and um, from around the world. My second heli challenge. I guess I wanted to come back because of the snow for sure and the terrain that we usually ride in the heli challenge is kind of something that fits in my kind of riding. It's really fun hanging out with a bunch of other really good athletes. Just getting to know people, making good connections and of course like what can you do better than going up in a helicopter and skiing some of the best mountains in the world. I was picturing something way more serious, like World Heli Challenge is going to be intense, gnarly and everything, and it was really just the contest days where people were really that serious, and then the rest of the time everybody's just getting to know each other. And Everyone's friends yeah, and stuff. Yeah, making friends, connections yeah. for years to come, you know. Yeah, we definitely had a down days this year with the World Heli, but we've done a lot of stuff. Been trying to keep busy, been surfing, getting all sorts. Paragliding, mountain biking. So much to do in Monica, it's like insane. Here skating the Dreamland ramp, watching Harry and the boys kill it. So tonight we have a retro party at the Lone Star. Oh mate, all these bloody tourists coming to a local break. In New Zealand the weather is always a little issue. In the history of the World Heli Challenge we've only had one other event where uh, we failed to get the extreme day off the ground due to weather and unfortunately that happened this year. The concern isn't that it's a huge avalanche, it's that you have a lot of people exposed. And it's not a tough decision when it comes down to people and, and, their, li and their livelihood. Avalanches aren't something to mess with. No. So overall, like I'm stoked that we had one day, bummed that we didn't have the other, but I'd rather be safe here at TC in the fog than in an avalanche. That's what, what's like cool about the World Heli Challenge is like every day is a fun day and uh, the best days are the heli days. Define amazing, huh? Flying from grass in a helicopter to the top of a mountain, trying to work in all the details and figure out exactly where you want to go and then try to make it all work perfectly somehow. I don't think not too many people know that some of the riders from down under are so good, especially in the back country, so it's nice to go out there and see actually how good they are in riding. No. 
I had an open mind, I didn't know what to expect, and I came in and just had an amazing experience. Like, just seeing New Zealand, seeing it in a completely different part of the world, meeting a great group of people from the crew to all the athletes, and uh, just like every single part of it has been awesome. And I know I'm gonna be coming back as long as I can, there's no doubt about it. Just wanna say thanks to Harrow and cheers, yeah. bro. Cheers, Harrow. It's been an amazing time.